Greetings, internet friends. Welcome to another episode of Dabbling with Dan. Today, Dan is going to be dabbling in furniture repair. Here is the footboard, and I've disassembled it. Uh, I use a rubber mallet to, to knock off the, the legs. And the part of the problem is the dowels that were used, this is one of them right here, doesn't really have a very aggressive place for the glue to get in there and bind with the wood. So I'm replacing them with longer dowels and ones that have more aggressive grooves for the glue to hold. When I'm replacing it also with oak, I think these were kind of like pine. The other thing I'm gonna do here is to make it extra sturdy, I'm gonna use some long screws. Uh, here's an example of one of them that I'll, I'll drill through uh, the leg and into the wood. And that should have additional gripping power. Here's the headboard that I did. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's complete. And I also went ahead and put little dowels plugs, which I'll sand and stain a little bit later. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. In the corner over here is a place where you can subscribe. And of course, I'll encourage you to share. And let's get busy on this project. Shouldn't take too long. We're gonna go ahead go. and put the dowels in here first. Put some uh, glue in this metal bowl. ample application of glue in each of these holes. Now I'm going to go ahead and use these uh, 7 16 oak dowel pins and what I'll also do is apply some glue to half of this And I'm gonna go ahead and tap them in. So all the way to the bottom. Now, earlier I went ahead and got a wet washcloth and I'm gonna just wipe off this excess glue for now. Now the next step is going to be applying glue to the inside of these holes. I'm going to apply glue to this part of the wood here. I'm going to start applying glue to the dowels. I'm going to go ahead and line up these pieces of wood now I'm using a Elmer's wood glue that I got at my local hardware store bed leg I already put the dowels in apply the glue to inside the holes I'm going to apply glue to the outside part of this wood. And now apply glue to the dowels. Use some of my body weight here and tap this in. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this long pipe clamp to squeeze this together, and I'm going to use a couple pieces of wood 
and this long pipe clamp to squeeze these two pieces, actually these four pieces together. And I'm using the wood here to make sure that I don't, as I clamp this, that it doesn't damage the wood. Let the clamping begin. And when I get good and tight, I want to check to make sure the glue that gets squeezed out, I get cleaned up, okay? Which I'll use on a washcloth. And let me show you on this end where it kind of squeezed out. I gotta remember, I gotta do both sides. But one thing I wanna check is to make sure the unit's still square before I put screws in there. And it looks a little bit out of square. I'll make an adjustment. That looks really good. Now, I'm just gonna take a moment and wipe up underneath there. Make sure I get all that excess glue that squeezed out the bottom. I believe the dowels are enough, but I want to go ahead and put some screws in there to hold that extra tight. I don't want to over torque them. Oops, this piece of wood is in the way. Tell you what I'll do before I loosen that. Let me get these set. Okay, let's loosen this pipe clamp up for just a sec. Move this piece of wood over just a little bit. That was one bad thing about this old um, the wood just is splitting. I might have to put some glue in there and back these out a little bit. I'll wash this excess off. You can kind of see where it's it's in the crack. Now, squeeze that together. You can see the glue coming out. And then get my washcloth and I'll wipe off the excess. And then I'm gonna leave this to dry for 24 hours. I went ahead and cut each of these plugs to the exact length. The reason I did that, after I glue it, I want to use my hammer, I want to tap it, and I pretty much want it flush. Because if I sand this whole thing down, it's going to be really hard to stain it to match everything versus just staining that. But I'm going to go ahead and take a little piece of sandpaper, and I'm just going to sand the end of my plug and then I want to orient the actual wood grain to match 
the same direction. I'm going to take a little bit of glue here. Okay. Get the orientation right. Put my plug in. And just tap it in with a hammer. Okay. And get my washcloth. Wipe off the excess glue. And repeat said process. I'm going to go ahead and finish those. And I've got some stain that pretty close and we'll stain these after they dry up. The plugs that I put in on the other piece, I'm just going to use a little piece of sandpaper and a little block of hard material. And I just want to sand any high spots down. I went to the uh, local hardware store and I got this wood finish penetrating stain. And actually I had a, a fellow customer who turned out to be a artist help me pick out. I actually took this piece of wood in and she was like, oh, this is the one you want. Okay, and I'm just gonna dab the plug. And let that set up for a little bit and then we'll move on and do all the others.